Charlie, according to some recent statistics, someone here in the U.S. has a stroke every 40 mm. seconds, and if you survive, the recovery can be grueling. Quinn Local 6 reporter Alexis Del Cid shows us how local doctors are working with cutting edge technology to help stroke victims recover. <laughs> When you think of someone recovering in the hospital, you may not envision this. Yay! Right. Or this. Watch. <laughs> and doctors at Providence St. Vincent Hospital say that's the point. So not only does she cheer them up, but they're actually, you know, using maybe a weak side or they're, you know, they're practicing their exercises without really realizing that they're doing therapy because they're just playing with the dog. I had uh, what I'd call the mother of strokes. John Etter may understand better than most people how grueling recovering from a stroke can be. The Portland man has had three. He says the second one was the worst. Had a face plant onto the carpet and I couldn't get up. He credits intensive stroke rehabilitation for his recovery. I was uh, treated by physical therapists, occupational therapists, um, psychologists. Uh, rehab medical people, their MDs. And now those doctors and therapists have a whole new set of tools to help them, from the cutting edge to the unconventional. And they have to stand up while they're playing, so it will help with their balance if their balance is off from a stroke. It will help with them using their weak side if their weak side is off from a stroke. The goal is to help people relearn how to use their muscles, from eating, walking, and talking, to cooking and getting dressed, abilities most people take for granted. But not John, not any longer. Longer. Reporting for you, Alexis Del Cid, Coin Local 6.